All right, college football now. Week 11 storylines abound. Why don't we start with Ohio State taking on Maryland without defensive end Chase Young. So number one in the playoff rankings without their number one player who's out because of a potential NCAA rules violation. Biggest game in conference, though, is Minnesota. Undefeated Gophers, undefeated Nittany Lions, 17 versus 4. Noon Eastern on ABC. PJ Flex Squad has won 10 straight. Also at noon Eastern, number 12 Baylor heading up I-35 to TCU. Uh, Bears will have to snap a four-game losing streak to the Horn Frogs in order to keep their unbeaten season alive. And speaking of unbeatens, marquee matchup Tuscaloosa, 3:30 Eastern, LSU visiting Alabama. These teams are ranked second and third, respectively, in the college football playoff rankings. Tuscaloosa is where we find Paul Feinbaum this morning, <laughs> site of the latest iteration of this game of the century here in the folks in the desert, Caesar Sportsbook. The number right around six, maybe six and a half for the tie, depending on where you get it and when you get it. Joe Burrows look good. LSU has a better record or a, a, a good record against better opponents. So why is the tide laying the six or six and a half? The simple answer is because of Nick Saban and Alabama usually is in this position. It's interesting, Randy, since 2009, Alabama has only been an underdog one time. And you know what happened there? They were a one and a half point underdog against Georgia and they beat them by three and a half touchdowns. Vegas loves Alabama and for good reason. Uh, they are the, the they are just such a money team. In this case, I think there there's also a perception that LSU just can't win this game. It's been since 2011, and I think that plays into the betting public's perception that Alabama is going to win. All right, we'll get your prediction later in the show, okay? So we're not going to ask for it right here. Let's get to the other battle of unbeatens. You got 17th ranked Minnesota hosting number four Penn State. What would a win for the Golden Gophers? What would that do for PJ Flex coaching stock? Well, he's already very popular and very much in demand. He just got that new extension. But a, but a win today over Penn State would just send him through the roof. He, he has done such a, an amazing job up there. And, and I, I know I hate to knock him or Minnesota because they just came to a new deal. But, Randy, we've seen that before. And sometimes these deals have wiggle room and buyouts. And, and I think he would uh, be offered jobs from many, many big-time schools. Right now, the biggest opening, of course, is Florida State. SC could open. There could be many others as this uh, domino effect occurs. Don't let the contract get in the way of potential opportunities. So potentially from P.J. Fleck. All right, let's talk NCAA here and the news of the last 24 hours. Nicole ran through the James Wiseman story on the hardwood at Memphis. Obviously, Chase Young, a Heisman candidate for the top-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes, potential top-five pick in the NFL draft. He's not going to play today dealing with an NCAA issue where he says he took a loan from a family friend, has since paid it back. How do you see the Chase Young situation playing itself out? Well, I think it all depends on where, where his honesty comes into play. He has been very honest about it, but was he honest when he was confronted with the, with the so-called smoking gun? Um, the NCAA works in mysterious ways. I, I think it is possible here, I'm just guessing, that they could look at this very quickly, uh, an expedited hearing, and rule that by, by skipping this game and, and maybe the next one, he could be eligible. The, the key for Ohio State isn't this week or next. It's Penn State mm -hmm. in two weeks, and obviously the, the uh, season-ending regular season game at Michigan. We're talking about arguably the best player in college football on what is the best team. This is an incredibly important story right now to follow. Leading into the best part of their schedule, as you say, Paul. So Paul's yeah. getting ready uh, for his show coming up 10 a.m. Eastern on the SEC Network. We will see him later in our show, though, with some picks on this, the biggest Saturday of the college football season so far. Paul!